On the back of the machine with the engine, it's got a very wide opening door here, opens all the way up, so it gives us great accessibility for our daily service points. Fuel filter, easily at hand, main hydraulic filter, your uh, engine oil dipstick, engine oil filter. Also, we have in the back here our, a second hydraulic filter. This is a patented system. And what it does, it's just where you fill your hydraulic oil in. You fill your oil through the filter, so it's filtered before it goes to the tank. All the leakage lines go back through this filter as well. It's also your oil level for your hydraulics. <clears throat> Most important for me is transparent. So you can see the oil inside there and it gives a good, uh, it's a good way to see if there's any contamination uh, so that you can prevent the components from having a failure down the road. Also in the back here, your fuel tank, uh, wide opening here to fill the fuel, your main hydraulic tank. So everything pretty really, really accessible for your uh, operator. You also notice in the back here, we have our additional counterweight. That's an extra 220 pounds. So if you want to install the long arm, gives you an extra 12 inches dig depth, then you would install the counterweight. Or if you're a customer that just wants to do some heavy lifting on the standard machine, you can also order the counterweight as a standard option. Okay, for accessibility to the main control valve, the oil cooler, the engine oil cooler, valve was a side panel here that's easily removed with one single bolt here. Take it off. And we use bolts instead of clips. You know, some of these flimsy clips, they break pretty easily. So one single cover comes off, gives you a really good accessibility to your hydraulic cooler, engine oil cooler in the back. And this is actually a fold out cooler. Flip off these little thumb screws and the cooler actually folds out here and gives you good accessibility to get any material trapped down inside. So your main control valve is here. It's a flow sharing valve. What it means is that you can use the three functions at the same time and the valve will flow share to each independent filter. As well inside here, you can see the electrical cables. They're all got conduit piping around about them, so they're well protected. They don't wear against each other. All your electrical cables up inside, neat inside here. Main control valves, hoses, etc. So everything accessible to get to. Any major work you need to do on the control valve, two bolts, takes off the whole panel, take it off, and the main control valve is easily accessible. The Volvo GPBE excavators have a great reputation in their undercarriage. They use the X-frame design. So we actually incorporated that concept in, our, in all our compact excavators. Uh, what the X-frame design does, it distributes the load through the machine. So if you're doing heavy digging or you're doing dozing, it gives you a longer life of your undercarriage. You can see uh, three rollers in the bottom here. They're double lip rollers, sealed for life. Single idler on the top. Heavy duty sprocket on the rear here and then an the idler on the front. Standard track in this machine is a 10 inch track. But if a customer is uh, working in an area where he's got soft ground, he can get the optional 12 inch tracks. One of the uh, other jobs that this machine is required to do is clean up and dozing. So Volvo and all compact excavators have a standard of dozing blade. So you can see it's a heavy duty blade. You can see the size of the side supports here where the cylinder is placed up the top here. So any material coming over the dozer blade doesn't contaminate your grease points. The same with the hoses for the, the, the dozer blade are well protected because obviously a lot of materials inside here, the chance it can be damaged. Uh, front of the, the dozer blade, you can see it's got a 400 Barnell cutting edge. Gives you longer life on that component.